Hey guys, brand new segment, we're gonna meet the team. Y'all obviously know Scott Boda, our resident drag racer, director of manufacturing, you know, behind the wheel of the silver bullet, but today we're gonna be talking about his 1990 Fox Body hatchback. So tell us a little bit more about why you have this car and where it came from. Ah, I've had the car since uh, Christmas break, 1996, when I was home from uh, Florida State. Uh, I had an 89 GT before then, couldn't pay for car insurance, got a job at Dairy Queen while I was at school, had two weeks during that Christmas break to find a car, uh, picked up the Sun Sentinel, found this out in Coral Springs, Florida. The guy actually, previous owner, worked for Stita, oh, okay. uh, Adam Smiley back in the day, but uh, yeah, so I guess we're coming out upon owning it for about 25 years, and uh, my goodness, it was my daily driver when I started working at Stita, and uh, yeah, she's my baby. So you've had this car for 25 years. Um, obviously, it's not stock. So what all do you have done to it? Uh, I guess it's probably easier to answer what I don't have done to it. <laughs> uh, current uh, formation of the car is a dart-based 438 cubic inch. It's got uh, some KBX Bennett cylinder heads, some old school high ports uh, with titanium valves, uh, Bennett Racing custom camshaft, Cook's long tube headers, uh, Edelbrock, Super Victor intake, uh, converted over to e EFI from Coast High Performance. So it's still fuel injected and uh, it's got dual stage nitrous plate on it uh, with a performance automatic C4 transmission in it. Obviously full of suspension, it's got our weight jackers. It was one of the cars used to develop our weight jackers back in the early 2000s where you could raise and lower the car, put it exactly how you want it. Street anti-roll bar, double adjustable uppers, our front coil overs and uh, Obviously some old school drag lights and some Mickey Thompson tires. So would you say you're, you're a Mustang guy? I'm a Mustang guy, came from a Mustang family a little bit. Um, my mom drives a 2017 California Special convertible. My sister had one of our old Q350s that John Moore built for uh, back in 07. My stepfather's currently got a 2015 Mustang Jeez. with our old uh, Vortex Supercharger off the 20 car. Nice. So uh, yeah. Mustang racing, my dad had a split window coupe growing up. My mom had a Barracuda driving us back and forth to uh, daycare. So it was, uh, yeah, it's always been in my blood for a long time. So it was just fitting to get into Mustang and get a career at Steeda. So what do you plan to do to this car next, if anything? I want to drive it. It's been down for about three months. Uh, ripped out all the wiring on the car, everything that I've learned. And it was an absolute disaster. Uh, <laughs> But it's amazing the difference working on a car when you're 43 versus 23, right? Uh, I think it came out exceptionally well. It starts better, it runs a little bit better, amazing. But uh, plans are just to enjoy it. We got this uh, cool weather here in South Georgia this time of year. Get it back out to the strip. Now the silver car is back down again. So uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I can talk Dario and Glenn to let me get on the dyno, make some noise. But uh, just enjoy it. Um, I affectionately call it my street car um, or the street car, but that's because that, that's what it is. You know, it's kind of like our premise behind the silver bullet. We wanted something that was relatable. One of my favorite things is the car still has full factory interior in it. Um, you just, you want something that's relatable. You can kind of drive it uh, anywhere. Um, it stays cool, runs cool on the street. So I think eventually maybe down the road, I'd like to put a supercharger on it, get away from the nitrous really take advantage of that dart block, but uh, I just, I love that old school muscle car sound to it, so. Now, how fast is it in a quarter mile? It's been 876, 156. Uh, that was back in 2013. Um, it was actually its fastest pass. It had reached my goal of trying to run into that mid to high eight second range. Um, Cause it's, it's not gutted. It's, it's not a lightweight Fox by any means. It's still 3,300 pounds, but um, yeah. Uh, just enjoy it, right? Have something that people can relate to, still go to this trip, and uh, you know, run for some 560s in the 8th and, and have some fun, so. Now, this is your only Mustang right now, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, people I've think heard... the silver car is mine, but it's not. <laughs> now, I've heard you talk about wanting to get one of maybe your own S550s. Is that on the horizon, maybe? Maybe. I hope the <laughs> wife isn't watching. But, yeah, I'd, I'd love to daily drive a Race Red 2018. Uh, match, obviously. Of course, right? With the <laughs> MT82 in it. Um, they're, they're awesome. I mean, anybody that's got these Mustangs, especially if you come from the Fox body area, these are a little rough and rugged, but the new cars, I mean, they're just an all-world car. They're a joy to drive, and uh, yeah, nothing makes me happier than driving one every day, that's for sure. Awesome. So. 
So you said drag racing. What got you into drag racing? Wow. Uh, buddy of mine, uh, family friend, John Roskis, actually, in his 94 Trans Am. Uh, had nitrous on it. I think it went 1240s back in the day, but I was always so scared to go to the drag strip. And I remember John lugging me up to Moroso one time. Of course, I had a V6 Mustang 86 T-top at the time. <laughs> and it was just so cool. It was, it was just that pure adrenaline, acceleration, you against the person laying next to you. So thanks, John. You're the one who started this madness and uh, yeah, led me down this path. And tell us a little bit about your best memory in this Fox body. Ooh, wow. There's been a lot of them. Uh, probably my best is, I guess, going back to the mid-2000s when I did the 351 with the solid roller. It was a 408. And I remember pulling into a parking lot down there in South Florida, and a couple older guys were like, man, you just don't hear a car that sounds like that anymore. Well, that's what a solid roller will do for you in high compression. And that's probably why I've always stayed that way. And a, it sounds better than any turbo car. You know, obviously a blower would probably sound similar, but that's it, being different. Thinking outside the box, a lot of people in the, that time frame were adding blowers to the cars and things like that. I wanted to do things the hard way and do it with cubic inches and uh, run on atmosphere. Yeah, I mean, when you're talking uh, nitrous and all motor, I mean, yeah. eight seconds is quick in a quarter mile, no yeah. doubt. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thank you so much for taking the time, telling us about your passion behind the Mustang, your passion behind Steeda, and ultimately this beautiful 90 hatchback. Appreciate it. Uh, it. It's one of those cool things, right, about being in the car community or the Mustang community specifically. You don't have to worry about race, origin. When you're at a track, you're at an event, you're at a get together, everybody's there for the same reason, right? Support each other, have a good time. So, uh, you know, it's awesome being in a hobby in a career field like this because uh, I think you can attest to it. We come to work every day and we love our job and uh, it's cool. It's, it's great to see that with a world full of so much negativity sometimes. Thank you so much, man. You got it. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, you know the deal. Comment below, let us know what you think of Scott's Fox body. If you want to know any questions about it, uh, how much horsepower it makes, if you want to see it on the dyno here at Steeda. 702 on an engine dyno. <laughs> and uh, don't forget the most important thing. Speed matters. <laughs>